Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. You're watching our channel, Linus Hassan. This is Sunny, Leanne and Linus. We all welcome you in our channel. We are taking today one video, um, Talent Recap. We have been watching uh, and listening and enjoying uh, these uh, Filipino singers. So this survey is also uh, taking uh, 10 best, according to them, 10 best uh, act on their platform. So let's watch together whether they are right. And um, of course, we will welcome all your comments. You know better. So you also can give your comments whether this survey is uh, up to the mark. They have done a better survey. And after watching this, what is my comments, you will get it at the end. So let's watch together and enjoy together. Okay. Yeah, we are going okay. to watch this together and uh, give our comments. Guy ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Here at Talent Recap, the shows we talk about feature top-notch talent from across the globe. However, there's one country in particular that's responsible for producing some real winners. Yes. What is hot? Hey guys, it's your girl Catherine for Talent Recap, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 best Filipino acts from talent shows Damn. ranked. And I'm excited to see if you guys agree with my number one pick. Now, disclaimer, if you're looking for a compilation of all the acts, this is not that video. This is my personal ranking of these specific acts. Number 10, Mistress. Kicking off our list is Mistress. This fierce trio took the Britain's Got Talent stage on series 12 and compared themselves to the likes of Destiny's Child. We are the, the mistress. mistress. Where are you from? I like it. We're from the Philippines. Philippines. Their performance of Tom Jones' Sex Bomb definitely delivered the shock factor, and that's exactly what they were going for. We are. It's safe to say that they surprised us all. But nonetheless, their voices were fantastic and the judges sent Mistress on to the next round. Guess what, Simon? Surprise! They didn't win that season, but I bet if they auditioned for Drag Race, they would have taken the whole competition. Number nine, Alisa Bonobra. Alisa Bonobra. This Bonobra. next singer had a whole lot of support from her community. It seems like she brought half of the Philippines with her to her audition, and I can see why. This girl filled the whole room with her voice. Back in 2017, 2017, Alisa Bonobra auditioned for The X Factor with Beyonce's Listen. Nicole Scherzinger was completely that. mesmerized by her performance must be and gave her See a the... standing ovation in the end. Wow. She was the sixth act to be eliminated in the competition, but she's still a star nonetheless. Number eight, DMX Convalenos. This all Filipino dance crew took on the champions of Britain's Got Talent and delivered a little something for everyone. Let me tell you, the vibe they started with is not the same one we all saw in the end. The crew dance began with a heavy metal rock routine and were dressed in all black jumpsuits. Halfway through, they did a quick change into dresses that looked like they came straight out of my closet. <laughs> they finished their choreography with a fun pop performance and had the whole audience on their feet. You can even spot a section in the audience dedicated to Filipino pride as they proudly wave their country's flag. Continuing on the dance theme, seven is You Peeps. You on peeps. World of Dance, the sensational hip hop group You Peeps brought some cultural flair in their semifinals performance. They combined their modern style with traditional Filipino dances and costumes. It was a high energy performance that you could not take your eyes off of. Ugh, the colors, the energy, and the passion? I don't know how they didn't make it to the final round of the competition. Either way, the dance crew are already two-time world hip-hop dance champions. So I'm just glad they got to represent their culture on a brand new stage. Number six, Peter Rosalita. Yeah. Now this yeah. name is probably the freshest yeah. in your mind. The 10 year old shocked the judges this season with his performance of Celine Dion's All By Myself. And he was so cute we too. Have he on came out on song. stage looking He's all a very dapper cool boy. with his little white suit. And he told the judges how nervous he was before he began to sing. Hello? It's on. Hello? It's Hi. on. Oh. We can hear you. We Are you nervous? Yeah. Yes, I'm very nervous. Don't be nervous. But once we heard his first note, all the nerves went out the window. Yeah, he was super. Yeah, we, we know him. I mean, we, we heard him. 
Jackson. I am so excited to see how he does in the competition this season. I really like him and I feel like America will too. Number five, Ilona Santiago. Ilona this 16-year-old powerhouse vocalist took the stage on season two of the X Factor US. She absolutely crushed her performance of Wings by Little Mix, a group who also rose to fame on The X Factor. Down the panel, each of the judges praised her spectacular performance, but things got a little interesting by the time they reached Simon. Yeah, do you remember me? No. First season? Uh -huh. No. In the inaugural season of The X Factor US, she was placed in a group called Intensity, who was eliminated in the top 12. It seemed to all come back to him after that, but I mean, I'd be a little sad if Simon didn't remember me. Number four, the TNT boys. The NT I know boys. you guys are yeah. catching on by now that the Philippines has the secret sauce when it comes to superstar vocals. The TNT boys were featured on the short-lived series, The World's Best. The World's Best. Like Renobra, this group also happened to cover Listen from Dreamgirls. And honestly, these boys gave Beyonce a run for her money. Number three, Angelica Hale. Wow. This sweet, adorable singer auditioned it's for AGT sweet. on season 12. The Short nine year old told the judges younger. she wanted to be the next Whitney Houston and auditioned with Andre Day's Rise Up. I want to be the next Whitney Houston. Wow. I want to be a superstar. superstar. Angelica Hale received four yeses from the judges and was given the golden buzzer in the judge's cuts round. She finished the competition in second place, becoming the youngest runner up in the show's history. Number two, Jessica Sanchez. Now, Jessica. Mistress compared themselves to Destiny's Child, and this next singer has the chops to stand with Beyonce herself. Sanchez was just 16 years old when she auditioned for American Idol in 2012. Her voice was well beyond her years, and her cover of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You earned a standing ovation from all three judges that season. Randy Jackson called her not only one of the best singers in the competition. This is one of the best talents in the whole country. No. That's a lot to live up to, but she did take the runner-up spot that season. Number one, Marcelito oh Pomoy. I bet a lot of you watching were waiting to hear his name on the list. Marcelito Pomoy took on AGT champions after winning Got Talent in the Philippines. In his audition, he performed The Prayer, the famous duet from Andrea Bocelli and Celine Dion. And yes, he actually sang in both registers. Howie wasn't even sure if this was really his voice at first. It was that surprising. Marcelito Pomoy made it all the way to the finals of that season. Super talent. Though he didn't take the win, he earned the title of highest placing foreign act on America's Got Talent. Let me know what your favorite acts were on this list and any others you would have liked to have seen. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe to Talent Recap on all platforms. You can also follow me at underscore Kevin DiMeglio on Instagram and stay tuned in so you always know what's hot. Bye guys. Bye bye. Okay, here we got this video, the number 10. Number one is Marcelito Pomoy, okay? Marcelito Pomoy. Yeah, he's very talented. Uh, out of 10, we I think have reacted uh, three. One is a Peter, TNT Boys and Marcelito oh, Pomoy, yeah. yeah, three. So the others we have not touched, but uh, soon, since we know that they are a ten, um, top ten uh, ranked people by uh, talent recap. So this is a this is not from the Philippines or some other country. I think it's from US. This one. So they have uh, featured them in the ten top Filipino act. So it's amazing. And uh, Marcelito Pomoy, of course, we all know it's amazing. So this actually gave us an idea. There are some people that we also can react on them beside our three darling, Marcelito, TNT, and Peter. So this survey uh, done by them, I think they I agree with it. You agree, right? Yeah. He's the one a very talented, have a two voices, uh, male and female. So if you guys have any comments that if you think that uh, I may agree actually. If you think that uh, there is something they are missing, uh, there should be a number changes, should be somebody should be in this number, should, should be that number. So you can give us our comments. Okay. So because we are learning about them, so we are still far behind. So give more ideas, but agree. So far, so we are agree. Okay. So 
thanks for watching us and uh, we are going to end this video here and come back with another video soon okay so we welcome your comments and suggest us more videos that you watch and uh, we will do reaction on that till that take care bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye guys bye bye